Welcome to a video from digitallifes.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get Windows 11 running on a Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 400, which is the one with the built-in keyboard, or built into a keyboard, I should say. Uh, but it works on the normal Raspberry Pi 4 as well. Now, to do this, I've got a uh, 256 gig um, M.2 SSD drive here, but that's what you need an SSD drive to work with Windows 11. You can use the micro SD card type ones, but I found the performance was really slow and, and not really usable. Whereas this, uh, this will work fine. The only other thing I found is because of the position of the USB drives, if, if I stick my little SSD in there, it actually blocks the ports. So I've got a little USB extender cable, uh, which I plug into there, plug into the Pi like that and then this can tuck neatly away. I could probably come up with some kind of case solution for it, but I'm, for now, I just want to show you how you get Ras Windows uh, 11 working on this Raspberry Pi. So the first step is you need a ISO of Windows 11. Now you can't directly get this from Microsoft for ARM, but this site, updump.net, which is a, a, a GitHub project, actually gets the files directly from Microsoft and creates an ISO for you. So this is not licensed or anything like that and the whole project isn't licensed. So this is really just a thing you can do to see if it's possible rather than, I wouldn't recommend this for any production or anything like that. But um, I'm gonna go with the ARM64 latest uh, preview release. Uh, that's Windows 10 actually. So let's go to ARM64 beta. There we go. So we've got Windows 11. So I can next that one. Uh, I just want the pro version. And you can get it to automatically include the updates uh, in this. It takes a bit longer when you do it that way, but it means you've got a fully updated uh, Raspberry Pi rather than having to do go into Windows updates. For time's sake, I'm gonna skip this for now, but I would normally do that. So create a package and it creates you a little uh, download, uh, which I'll stick in my downloads folder. And then let's so go to my downloads folder. You'll see I've got this zip uh, of Windows 11. This is just the files you need to get Windows 11, not the Windows 11 itself. So I'll extract all those. So what this tool does is effectively grabs the files from Microsoft's Windows updates, public servers, and assembles it into an ISO. So like I said, not supported by Microsoft, not official or anything like that. So I run this now. So this is gonna start uh, assembling that ISO file, which we're gonna need in the second half of the process when we use the deployment tool. So uh, I'll wait for this to finish and we'll get the um, ISO and then we'll resume and we'll start with the deployment tool. Okay, so that's finished now. I can press zero to exit and I've now got that ISO which I can double click and that mounts that. And then in there is a file that I need. So now I need uh, to use the deployment tool We can use deployer. So I need to plug in my external drive that I'm using, that's that SSD drive. So I'll plug that into my, uh, my laptop. Okay, so I'm gonna do a Raspberry Pi 4 deployment. I'm going to stand the deployment. I need to browse for the uh, WIM file, which is on that mounted file, which so I do wanna double click that ISO file. It mounted a drive. And in there is the install win file. So it's picked that up there. Now this is the kit, you've got to be careful, make sure you get the right drive. Don't want to wipe your main system. So I know it's that one. And tick that box. I do deploy. And that will take, I think it takes roughly about 20 minutes now, or something for it sets up that drive. So that's now gonna create the Windows 11 image on that SSD drive. 
and then when this finishes I take that plug it into the Pi and do the boot up so I'll uh, let this finish and then uh, we'll see what happens next so there you go I've got the uh, Pi plugged in the drive connected there and now it's going to the Windows uh, setup so what I'll do is I'll just uh, go through that and I'll show you what it looks like when we've finished here's my Raspberry Pi 400 and you can see here it's booted into Windows 11 so you can see there I'm running build 22000527 so I've just applied all the updates so it's running on Windows inside a program you can see I bring up the start menu like that and I can op try and open some applications I wouldn't use this for production machines because there's um, there's not a lot of RAM in, in this one. I've got uh, three gig in here and you can see it's pretty much hammering that, hammering that RAM and uh, the CPU as well where I'm firing up Edge. But it does work. Um, you see this is firing up now. It's the first time I've used the browser. So it's gonna ask me to configure it. Some of the graphics are there with the curv uh, curved edges, but some aren't. They've some have got square edges. That's because the video drivers aren't uh, designed for the Raspberry Pi 400 or it's just got the default video drivers in there so you don't get the the smooth uh, edges uh, curves that you do in on a PC that's got uh, supported PC but you can see all the apps are in there um, some things works better than others you can see some things that are running with um, architecture of the ARM64 they work better than anything that runs uh, uh, x86 which is emulated OneDrive is actually emulated I'm not sure if there is a, uh, an ARM version of OneDrive I keep meaning to check but uh, you can see that most things are running as ARM because I haven't installed anything on here but your phone is uh, is one that's x86 so that's emulated but you can see you know the browser works it's it's not the smoothest but it, it works I could uh, I can multitask I can uh, you know, open the built-in Windows apps and you know it works fine so as an exercise to prove that you can do it it definitely works it's a Raspberry Pi 400 and uh, as you can using that deployment tool I've managed to roll it out and, it, and it's working so uh, Windows 11 running on a Raspberry Pi 400 working okay thanks for watching this video if you go on our YouTube channel you'll see I've got uh, Windows 11 working on an old Lumia phone <laughs> check that out and thanks for watching the video I'll see you on the next one